I want to go now to predictions. We're going to go around the horn. I'm going to say goodbye to you after you do your predictions. Uh, I'm going to start with, uh, let's start with, ooh, he tells the past. Now tell us the future, John Jackson Miller. What's going to happen? Oh, well, see, that's 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 uh, that's not a good question. Uh, <laughs> the uh, when uh, we were talking about uh, talking about uh, college experiences earlier, uh, my my I have a master's degree in Soviet studies. The reason I have a master's and not a doctorate is that this, the Soviet Union collapsed on my dissertation, uh, and. <laughs> uh, I, Everything I was studying vanished, and I, I was encouraged to continue along with it. And I said, I'm sorry, this is not something which is subject to academic study right now. This is in the realm of the journalists uh, to say what's going on. And if I'm going to be a journalist, I'm going to write about something fun. And so I ended up going to comics, although I went to lumber first. Uh, but but that's that's where I went. And, okay. and of course, I... I I ended up very quickly ending up with the the distributor wars and getting to cover uh, the breakup of of a, of a system and 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 everything like that. Um, okay. Currently, so I currently I don't think that you can predict just about anything. Right. I think huh? that I I th I think I think that uh, the United States economy needed a lot more money pumped into it. And a lot more capital pumped into it than we actually got. Uh, and we have, uh, you know, we talk about 2,000 stores. We have 2,000 different economies, uh, micro economies. Every store is in a different situation. Uh, whatever we say about UCS or Lunar or DC or anybody else, I've talked to many different retailers, all of whom have, the, every horse is riding in its own direction. Yeah. and is doing whatever they can do. And I don't think that you can actually, uh, uh, yeah, I, I may not do any year to year comparisons, uh, you know, just on the regular monthly charts until I see that there are monthly charts and yeah. until I see what, and, and until I see what, how that's going to be denominated. And, and so it's, uh, uh, I, this is a, this is kind of a game of 52 card pickup at the moment. And, uh, It'll be more interesting to study three years from now than it will be to actually live in it, I think. Okay. That was a cop out, but I'm going to let you go with it, John, because, <laughs> because uh, frankly, it's like I, I couldn't predict what's going to happen next no, week. This is me. This, 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 this is like uh -oh. to know when to pull the chips back from the table. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, John, th thank you for coming in. Uh, stick around. We're going to chat at the end if you got time. Uh, but uh, we're hopefully you're going to come back soon with some sales analysis. We do. We try to do a quarterly thing with John. John Jackson Miller. Thanks again for for being on the show. Okay, let's go to Brian Garside. Brian, um, what can you predict, man? Be, be, be specific. Well, uh, let's start off with this two shell pass because I think that's that's important, right? Like this is just a, a blip, and it's it's a blip that's happening through something that has nothing to do with the actual comics industry. This isn't like the collapse in, in the nineties. This is something totally different. Um, but I think what's going to come out of this is stronger retailers. The retailers that remain will be stronger. There's a massive push for the first time that I can remember. And Stu will attest to this too in retailers actually are coming to us and saying, we need technology. I've been pushing technology on retailers for 15 years and none of them wanted it. Now, suddenly we've got this avalanche of them coming saying, we need it. Um, and Stu, you'll, you'll probably, you're will you you'll probably seeing the same thing that retailers want to get off of RMS for the first time in ages. All of a sudden I've got, like I've literally had six demos so far this week and we're what, Tuesday? Even though I say every day is Monday now. Like that's, it's insane. So there's a, an urge to change they understand that technology is what they need to do. Having been offline for two months there has suddenly meant that they absolutely know that they have to, to adapt to the situation. And there's a willingness for the first time ever for retail to adapt. So I think we're going to have a stronger retail at the end of this. And we're going to have a much more flexible uh, group of retailers. Not all of the retailers are going to survive, but the ones that do are going to be awesome. So yeah, right. I, I think it's going to be better. I like that, Brian. And 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 while sure, 
probably COVID had something, the crisis had something to do with people going to you for demos, but don't underestimate the effect of appearing on comic book news. <laughs> comic book news. Brian. So thanks, Brian. Stick around and, and we'll chat at the end if you got time. Thanks. Thanks for being sure on do. the show. Stu. Uh, yeah. Stu Colton. So tell me, give me a prediction. Uh, What's going to um, happen? I, uh, man. Um, I, I think whatever DC has done, whatever their reasons for doing it, are purely financial. Right? I don't believe anything about strengthening or whatever. I think it's it's basically 100% for their bottom line. And I don't see how other publishers won't be looking at that bottom line and doing the same thing. That's I think there's going to be more publishers using Luna and UCS. Ah, I, I had actually heard from one publisher only that they reached out and uh, to either Lunar, I think it was Lunar, and they and Lunar said, no, we just distribute DC. Right. Well, whoever, yeah, so I was surprised. I mean, that, 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 I mean, that may be a case of right now, that's all they can do. Right. But I think once they've got everything sorted, once every, all their struct file structures and the, and the flow is working, I, if, it's, if it's cheaper for a publisher to use them, I, yeah. I why would anyone, it's, or Diamond improve their terms to, right. uh, to well, combat well, I that. Think, but right. Competition's good, I, right? That's what I mean. It's a good thing. I, I, yeah. Like I had no problem with DC going to other distributors. I think that was good. But it's the uh, removing the choice of Diamond as well that makes it a just a, a bad move. That to me was the the crux the, of it. The only the only part of it that was a bad move to me was the timing. Yeah, and uh, the timing. I, I mean, there's 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 some retailers and and some of our clients. I mean, they're they're, they're, they're I'm concerned for their their mental health with what's mm -hmm. going on with you know protests and COVID and some of them having their doors kicked in and then turning around and turning your computer on and it's like you've just been kicked in the nuts as well as having your door kicked in, isn't it? Yeah. Um, I think that was the worst part of it. I, I, the change, fine, but the the suddenness of it, dropping it on a Friday and walking away, I I I, I think that was pretty crappy. Yeah, I agree, Stu. Thanks. S stick around, Stu, and we'll talk, man. Thank yeah. you for being on the show, yeah. and we'll have you back soon for that full demo. Cool. I promise you. Okay. Okay. All right, Milton. You brought us. We we started with you. We're gonna end with you, man. You talked about the past. We talked about the present and where we think the future can go. Give us a prediction, please. Well, um, I've been in this business a long time, early '70s, and I've seen a lot of transformational moments, and this is definitely one of them. Um, so the first part of the prediction is that the business is going to be radically different a year or two from now than it is right now. And to me, the biggest thing that's going to change is the concept of a retailer. Uh, in the past, the last 20 years at least, there's been two kinds of retailers. There's been a retailer that uh, ran a website or a retailer that had a brick and mortar store where you went in to buy stuff. And to me, uh, it seems like the concept of a retailer is moving toward a place of community. And that community may exist in a physical location or maybe have events that pop up and aren't there permanently. Uh, and a lot of it is sustained online. And a fair amount of the commerce also is going to take place online. And uh, retailers that don't adapt to that kind of environment are not going to be able to make it through the next two years or however long it takes to get COVID under control. And um, so there will be a winnowing of the retailers that don't adapt and an opportunity for growth for the retailers that do. Milton, have you seen the guys doing, man, we had him on the show, Jesse James. He's got a 24-hour comic book, uh, like QVC. Uh, he's got 12 retailers that do a two-hour show all day, every day. They're selling comics on Facebook directly to people. Have you heard of this stuff? Yeah, I think we did a story on that. It's amazing. Facebook, I really, I'm going to have to. Facebook Live. Yeah, on Facebook Live. Yeah, and he's got a really interesting system. It's like a whole new model I'd never heard of or considered. It's it's fascinating to me. And we're going, everybody's scrambling. The crisis really is bringing out the creativity in all segments. So, um, yeah, I mean, uh, it accelerates the change. And um, we've got so many, you know, we've got compound issues right now with uh, COVID changing how people are interacting in public and as a financial crisis behind it. So a lot of things driving change right now. 
That's right, Milton. Well, thank you for coming in. Thank you for um, sharing your wisdom with us. And we hope you'll come back again for a panel sometime. Thank you, Dan. And thanks to all our readers and supporters. We really appreciate you. All right. All right. Thanks. Stick around, Milton. We'll talk. I'm, I'm going to wrap this thing up and then I'll, I'll join you guys in the green room.